Hey guys, today we're talking about freeze patterns and congruency. This is one of my favorite lessons to teach, so here we go. Your learning objectives. I can identify congruent shapes. I can explain how shapes are congruent. I can identify freeze patterns. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and revisit the concept of, of congruent. And congruent comes from the Latin word congruere. There you go, there's your knowledge for the day, which means to agree. So at the end of the day, congruent shapes agree. Think of it like that. These triangles are saying, we agree that we're the same. We're just laid out a different way. We're going to use Pete the Prairie Dog today to help us understand or remind ourselves about congruency. In order to be congruent, you have to keep the same size and the same shape. So you can be congruent by having two shapes next to each other. They're definitely congruent. And we remember that congruency, if you put it on top of the other, it'll match up exactly. Now, Pete's kind of turned here a little bit, but if it matches up exactly, there we go, it's congruent. So Pete here can also be congruent by doing a turn or rotation. It's like he's diving off a diving board and he goes, wee. Okay, a turn or rotation is still congruent. He's the same size and the same shape. Pete the Prairie Dog can also flip or do a reflection. This is different from a rotation. He's not spinning, he's just flipping. And this reminds us a lot of the reflections we've seen in class. And even after he's reflected, here's his pre-image, here's his image, pre-image, image, he's still the same size, Still the, same, still the same shape, he's just looking different ways, or he's just reversed. Pete the Prairie Dog can also do the slide, slide, congruency, slide. So that means he's going to start in one place, and then he's going to slide to another position. But even after he's made the translation, or the slide, he's still the same size and the same shape, just in a different location. So once again, the three ways you can be congruent, are, or four ways, are just being yourself, or making a slide, translation, a reflection, which is a flip, and a rotation, which is a turn. So is Pete the Prairie Dog congruent now? No way, because he's not the same size. Remember, he needs to be the same size and the same shape in order to be congruent. You can also do more than just one. Sometimes you can have a flip and a move or a reflection and translation. You can have flips and turns at the same time. And some of these in real life are actually existing in designs. And if you look all over the place, I bet you'll see these sometimes on your sweaters, your jackets, your pants if you have any quilts at home. And when they come in a whole pattern, we call those freeze patterns. And I'm gonna switch over here to my internet documents. And I wanna tell you a little bit about these. So freeze patterns are made of shapes that are in line and they feature symmetry. And like I said, you can find them all over the place. Once you know what they are, I bet you'll pick up on them pretty quick. Mrs. MacPhail has a lot of socks that have these on them. So in freeze patterns, the same design is reflected over and over. Here's one on a sash worn by Mazahua women in New Mexico. And these look like maybe they're horses, but you can see they're repeated over and over, but it's a reflection. Here's maybe the pre-image and image, pre-image, image. So that design is repeated. So you can have reflections over and over and over. You can have translations over and over and over and over. Here are um, some elephants and horses on a sarong from in Indonesia. And you can see that this horse has translated to here. I'm sorry, elephant has translated. Here's another translation. Here's another translation. So the elephants are sliding along. So that's another example of a freeze pattern. You can be congruent, and these are also in our freeze patterns by a rotation or turning, reflection or a flip, translation 
or sliding. All right, that's all we got time we got for today. Pete the Prairie Dog is going to practice his congruency slide, and we'll see you later.